is up Africana fam it's your girl young Africana back at it again with another video and I'm not gonna do a voiceover this time I'm actually going to be speaking to you guys so I'm trying something a little bit different here but today I'll be doing a full-blown hair install so in today's video we do have the hair sponsor of Wow African hair so this is how it comes packaged as you guys can see it comes in this nice box don't mind the fingerprints on here. I've had a little time with this box. I'm going to reveal the box. This is how it comes in. It comes in this nice bag, this silk bag. And inside the box also comes with some hair goodies. I'm going to expose the hair goodies after I show the hair. So I'm going to open this up. And the hair does come in a poly bag. And it even has the label of the hair so I did go ahead and get the Indian hair 22 inches the density is 180 percent so it should be pretty thick and the curl pattern is bouncy curls and we have HD lace with a 13 by 6 lace frontal sorry if I was looking over there my phone is looking over there um, but yeah this is how it comes in as y'all can see the curls look like it's popping even from the poly bag so we're about to go ahead and expose this bad boy. And then it comes with a hairnet for extra protection. We love extra protection. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Balayage is given. Y'all see these curls? It is super duper bouncy and full. These curls are really popping, y'all. So as y'all can see, the wig comes pre-styled. Um, I'm looking at the hairline. It looks like it's pre-plucked and pre-bleached, actually. So this is how the hairline is looking. It is pre-bleached and pre-plucked. And look at that lace. I already know that we're about to have a ball with this lace. As y'all can see, the lace is blending into my hands seamlessly, actually. It's almost kind of scary, y'all. And now onto the goodie bag that I received at the bottom of the box. Also comes in a nice mesh bag, super cute. So what we got in here is a wig cap, a dome wig cap. It came in like this medium brown color and it comes with two in here. It also came with her own personal comb, so that is very, very, very good. Um, this is the rat tail comb with like the braiders comb as well too. So it has like that little gap in the teeth. And as y'all can see with the comb, it has like that braiders tooth. So it's easy for you to do a part with it as well. We also got these two duckbill clips. And this is perfect for when you're gluing your hair. And you want your hair to be away from your face. This is when you're doing your edges and you need a silk scarf just to lay your edges down and then it comes with lashes as well i already know this wig it is completely beginner friendly so that's an a plus for this wig thus far it comes pre-styled pre-plucked and pre-bleached so you literally don't have to do anything but slap this wig on your head okay so that's exactly what, what we're about to do i'm gonna go ahead and take y'all through the install process and yeah we're gonna have some fun with this wig so now that i have my ball cap method already done i'm gonna go ahead and clean off my hairline because i do have some gel residue around my ears if you want and you want to make sure that you remove all the dirt and oils from your forehead before you apply glue or just any lace frontal in general and leave a comment down below if you've already gotten this far into the video. Do y'all like me doing like actual talk through videos or would you rather me just do a voiceover like how I usually do? I am trying something very new. I feel like y'all don't really hear me that much. Like I do, but then I don't. Like y'all don't actually see me talk. So yeah, just let me know down below in the comments if y'all like talk through videos or y'all like my regular voiceover videos. All right, so now on to testing the wig. Let's see how this bad boy look on me. So it does come with a band as well, with some combs too. So I'm just putting on the band first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the wig. So 
this is how it looks like from ear to ear. And like the wig is like, it fits perfectly. So I got the wig positioned where I need it to be positioned at now. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors. I like to cut these slits at the temple area of like my hair. Make sure you don't cut into the hairline, just right before the hairline. And also I want to cut off the excess lace that is after my ear tabs. So right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this clip. And you wanna make sure that you cut around your ears. Do that for the other side too. Make sure you cut around your ear. Just like so. So now your ear taps fit perfectly around your ear without any discomfort. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I have a position exactly where I need it to be at. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it back. You're just going to flip it back, y'all. Just like that. So therefore, when you pull it down, you're not pulling it to adjust it. You just put it down, and it's where it needs to be at. All right, so now for our gluing, I'm going to be using my Erica J Hold Me Down Watermelon Skin Guard to protect my scalp and also just like my skin around my hairline. Ooh. And I'm going to spray that all around the hairline. And then I'm going to go in with Erica J Hold Me Down Watermelon Adhesive. And I'm going to be using two layers of glue to glue it down. So what I like to do is I like to go all around the hairline. I like to get some on the cap itself and a bit on my skin. So I'm going to start with the middle first. And then go from side to side. And I like to put on the glue in a zigzag motion. And then I'm going to use the rat tail comb, the metal part of the rat tail comb, just to smear it out. You want, to, you want to make sure that the glue is nice and flat as well. And I have some leftover glue on my rat tail comb, so I'm just using that to apply for the rest of the hairline. And I'm also going to apply some in the ear area as well. All right, so now that everything is clear and dry, I'm now gonna go ahead and start with the middle flap first. And I'm just gonna literally just kind of slide this down. Just like that, you wanna make sure that the hairline is in front of the glue, not behind it. So that's the middle flap down. Now, we're going to make sure that we pull the sides, make sure that it is in front of the glue and not behind it. Okay, just like that. Boom. And then, once you have it positioned where you need it to, now you're just gonna go ahead and just gonna press down. And then now for the last side. 
I want to make sure that it is the hairline is in front of the glue and not behind it and once you have it down there you're just going to go ahead and press down just like that y'all all right and once it's positioned where you need it to be positioned i can go ahead and fully just press down So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with an eyebrow razor and I'm going to go ahead and start the middle part first. And you want to make sure that you're cutting in a jagged motion. So I'm, I'm literally cutting just so jaggedly. I'm not cutting like straight across or anything. Almost like a zigzag motion that you're cutting this hair in. And this just help ensure that like you don't have like any like line of demarcation of where like the lace starts at and where your skin starts at. This just helps your hair look extremely natural. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the hairline. And this is how we're looking so far. So we do have a bit of lace still exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in those gaps where the lace is exposed at. And how I simply do that is I just go ahead and place some of the glue on my the back of my hand and then just use the rat tail, the metal part of the rat tail comb and kind of map out where the lace ends at. Kind of like, you know, outline it. And I do two layers of that as well with the glue. And after you're done, just gonna go ahead and press the lace into the glue. I'm gonna do that all around the hairline, so I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll show y'all how it'll look like after. All right, so this is how we're looking so far. We are done with detailing and adding some glue in areas of the lace that need to be glued down. And this is how we're looking so far. We are not done with this process at all yet, so the lace is not even melted. So if y'all see a little ashiness, it's gonna go away. So stay tuned, okay? Just give me some time, give me some patience, okay? So right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is first, actually, I'm going to go ahead and fix this middle part because I like my middle parts to be crisp. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my Cara Cara Lack Stick and I'm just going to go ahead and just place that on top of the hair because I like my part to be flat. Going in with my hot comb on the hottest setting and I'm just going to go ahead and just press that down. All right, y'all, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and now just kind of work with this hairline, try to, you know, adjust it and stuff before I start car carving out my baby hairs. Yes, I am going to do baby hairs with this look, but just like something slight. I feel like curly hair and baby hairs just give. So I'm just kind of like pushing the hairline back. So now I'm just using my rat tail comb just to carve out those baby hairs. You want to make sure that it's not too thick, but not too thin either. And now I'm just using my hot comb just to train the baby hairs downwards so it's nice and flat. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the tendrils. Now that we're done forming the baby hairs, I'm now going to go ahead and further melt the lace. I like to go in with my Fantasia Liquid Mousse, and this is the Mega Hole Spritz Hairspray. So what I like to do is take my finger, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my finger. And then just tap it in. And I do this more so because it could get really messy when you spray directly onto the lace. And I don't got time for that. So <laughs> I like to just go in with my finger and just tap it in. And I'm gonna do that throughout the entire hairline. All right, so now that I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and take an elastic band. You wanna make sure it's stretched first, place it on top, and wrap it all around your hairline and to the back. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it, and I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these baby hairs. I like to cut them about like an inch to like an inch and a half long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in a diagonal. I'm using my shears just to cut it. And I'm cutting in a sense upwards. And now I'm gonna go in with my T-Fix flat iron. And I'm just gonna go ahead and curl the hair in. Like that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl upwards. Now to carve these edges, I'm going to go ahead and use my Erica J Fluff Stuff Styling Foam. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the baby hair. So I'm going to apply it technically at like the root or the knot is at. Do about one to two pumps. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my baby hair comb just to comb it out. And this is how the baby hairs are looking like right now. They're still a bit wet, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry. And then now onto the tendril baby hairs. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut in a diagonal right below the bottom of my earlobe. And then I'm taking the same flat iron and I'm gonna go ahead and curl inwards this time. Alright you guys, so I did went ahead and do my makeup off camera and got everything together but now it's on to the finalization of like the styling of the hair so let's get into it. I'm super excited. Ah! So I'm going to go ahead and just take off these clamps. So I'm not going to leave it like this. I am going to like fluff it out. So right now I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just use like my fingers and I'm going to like go into the root of the curl and then just kind of like break it almost like you know how you would with like an afro pick so boom just like that 
I am going to fix these two like little curls right here because it kind of got messed up in the crossfire. Ooh. So you just want to make sure when you're like raking it out, you don't want to comb it out at the ends just so you can still have that coil at the ends. And as I can see, like the hair is starting to come to life, literally. Oh yeah. Now I'm just going to use like a little bit of concealer just to define the part. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and come out those baby hairs just because I don't like them crunchy. So y'all, these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Would I recommend this wig? Absolutely yes. Down from the parting spaces you do get, you do get a 13 by 6 parting space. As you can see, this middle part is a deep middle part, okay? So you get the bang of your buck when it comes to your parting space, as well as the texture. The hair is soft and bouncy and super full. They were not lying when they said that it was 108% density. At first, I was a little scared because how it came packaged, the curls were real, you know, uniformed, and the hair did feel thin. But once I stretched out the hair, it got big. Like, this is definitely true to the 180% percent density as you can see like you can't really see through the hair it got it got density y'all so I would definitely say the density is true as well as just it being beginner friendly so this hair did come pre-plucked it came pre-bleached it came pre-parted and pre-styled so like you're getting four in one for a wig and again super duper beginner friendly you don't have to do anything to this wig but slap it on your head all right so with that being said, I do recommend this wig. Go ahead and run to wowafrican.com to go ahead and get this balayage Indian curly wig. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.